Hey guys, today I want to present a solution to the China Mathematical Cup 2020 problem 1. At first, let's have a look on the picture. We are given a triangle ABC such that AB is equal to BC. So these two sides are equal. Moreover, there is a point P on side AC such that 3 times CP is equal to PA. So 3 times this length is equal to this length here. So, moreover, we draw in the in center of the triangle and the midpoint M of line BI. Now we draw in the line PI and choose a point H on this line such that the angle MHP is 90 degrees. The last thing we introduce is the point Q which should be the midpoint of the arc AB of the circle circle of the triangle ABC. Now our task is to prove that the angle QHB is 90 degrees. We may notice that the midpoint Q of the arc AB is given and also the in center I of our triangle ABC. Therefore, we can use the in center x center lemma and get that QB, which is equal to QA, since Q is the midpoint of the arc AB, is also equal to QI. This means that the triangle BQI is isosceles, since BQ is equal to QI. Therefore, we know since M is the midpoint of the line BI, that the angle Q MB is equal to 90 degrees. Now we have the angle QMB which is equal to 90 degrees and since we want to prove that also the angle QHB is equal to 90 degrees, our statement becomes equivalent to the statement that the points Q, H, M and B lie on a circle. This is the first nice observation and now we want to have a look on the other given conditions we haven't used. Especially we are given this right angle here, namely that angle M H I is equal to 90 degrees. And since we figured out that the points H M play a big role since they must lie on this circle here, we may now try to consider another point on the circle such that we can use this right angle here in some way. This motivates us to consider the second intersection of the line P H with this circle here and I call it R. We have to watch out how we define the point R exactly because we don't know yet that the points Q, H, M and B lie on a circle and therefore we have to choose three of these points and define the circumcircle of them. So let's take H, M and B. This notation here means that we want to consider the circumcircle of triangle H, M, B. And now we cut this circumcircle with the line pH and this is clearly the point H and also the point R which we want to define. Now we can make use of the condition that R H M N is equal to 90 degrees and now since these four points here lie on a circle we get that the angle M B R is also equal to 90 degrees so now let's draw in this line. Now this is really nice because we remember that we have given AB is equal to BC. Therefore, the angle bisector BI of the angle ABC is also the height of the triangle ABC through point B and therefore we also have a right angle here. This means now that these two lines here, AC and BR, are parallel and therefore we can now make use of the condition that 3 times CP is equal to PA because we have two parallel lines and therefore the ratio stays the same. At first notice that from 3 times CP is equal to PA we get that CP is one quarter of the line AC and therefore since this is the midpoint of AC we get that P is the midpoint of this segment here. This means now that we can introduce the point S which should be the intersection of 
the lines BR and the line CI. And now we know that R is the midpoint of the segment BS. So we can write BR equals to RS. Now we remember that in the beginning when we used the in center accent lemma, we got that QB is equal to QA is equal to QI. Moreover, we know that CI is the angle bisector of ACB and BI is the angle bisector of CBA. But since we have a right angle here, we also know that BR is the exterior angle bisector of CBA. Therefore, we know that S is the CX center of triangle ACB. And by the in center accent lemma, we also get that this here is equal to QS. Since we figured out that R is the midpoint of BS, we have that the angle BRQ is also 90 degrees. Now we have two right angles here, namely the angle QMB is 90 degrees and the angle BRQ is 90 degrees. This means that the points M and R lie on the circle with diameter BQ. Thus the four points Q, M, B, R lie on a circle and we get that Q is an element of the circumcircle of triangle MBR. Now we remember how we defined the point R, namely R was the intersection of the circumcircle of HMB and PH and this means that R lies on the circumcircle of HMB. This directly implies that also H lies on the circumcircle of MBR. So this is nothing but the circumcircle of M B R H. Therefore, we indeed get that the five points Q, H, M, B and R lie on a circle. And now we can conclude that angle Q, M, B is equal to angle Q, H, B is 90 degrees. And that's exactly what we wanted to show.